Hey guys, Jeremy with Disciples Garage. Just keeping you guys updated on the shop. Um, the truck is outside. Um, I did completely wet, wet sand the truck. I did do it in 2000 in a few spots that I got really aggressive with it. And I uh, went ahead and already did a buff, buff it with the 3M compound, the first step, with the wool pad. I don't know if you can hear outside, but it's storming. So the truck's getting all washed off um, from the first buffing. And then I think uh, first thing in the morning, I'll try to get up in the morning and get the thing buffed the rest of the way with the other compound. So um, what I'm going to do inside here is uh, get my lighting situation figured out. Um, since I got some lights from Jared's storage when we did the storage uh, video, here's some more of this junk that I got over there. I got some more uh, Dodge Ram tail lights that I don't really need, but um, and got some uh, purple power cleaner that I used on the rims today, which worked pretty good. And a box of electronics and stuff. And he had a bunch of beer at his house he gave me for cooking. I don't really drink too much beer, but I couldn't pass up Blue Moon. I like Blue Moon. Here's what I did. Okay, here's my ballast right here. Wow, it's storming. Let me get, you guys want to get a shot of this? I can go outside here. Woo! Yeah, it is coming down. Okay. So yeah, we're sitting at uh, about 70 degrees. And you guys got to see. I'm going to put up a video for you guys. Just see the cam, some of the camcorders I was looking at the other day. I mean, literally, you get this close, it's already focused. It'll focus all the way in to this, as close as you can possibly put the lens to the thing. And you come out here, it's automatically focused. Focuses that fast, autofocus. So I'm looking at getting a new camera. That'd be sweet. Wait a minute. You hear that? Yeah, that was hail. Uh, we got inch and a half hail reported in Minnesota here yesterday in a few towns. Storm went through. Here's some more. You hear that ticking? Um, so the storm chasers are out like crazy selling siding and whatever. Metal work and all that kind of stuff. So I should be hitting them all up, you know, but I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, the work will come to me. I am in, uh, I'm in real good terms with a contractor that I'm kind of doing websites for right now and stuff. So he, uh, probably will be expecting me to do his, his jobs that he gets but um, and he knows a lot of people from the town that got hit with hail so and he gets lots of referrals and stuff he doesn't really go out and do door-to-door -door sales like all the bigger companies do but so yeah I should have some siding coming up here pretty soon and um, I'm gonna do them because I got you know, tools on the other side of this pile taking up half my garage tools laying here I got all the tools to do it. The only tool I don't have, a very important tool, is a ladder rack to get them there. The lighting situation. So, Jerry gave me the three ballast. One, two, and those are just two uh, regular dual bulb four foot ballast with chains so they can be turned off. And then this one's about the crappiest one out of the bunch. I think he wants back though because it looks cool. It's got the diamond plate, you know. So uh, that one also has a chain, and it works. Everything works on that. Um, it came that one came with a cup of bulb, uh, one bulb in it, that yellow bulb, I think. See how one of those bulbs is kind of yellow, and then uh, and then it came with these. This one came with these two bulbs here, and they're not full. They're called full spectrum bulbs. They're not 6500K, um, but they're you know they're pretty nice they're pretty close all right there I kind of got you a shot okay the two in the middle are Phillips 6500k um, bulbs uh, it doesn't say they're daylight bulbs but they're pretty damn close and the two on the left are a little bit um, got a little bit of a 
purplish tint to them. Um, I know you probably can't see it, but um, I know if you get up close, you kind of can. The difference between that and that. These are a lot whiter. Um, and then, of course, the bulb up there. Um, that's a daylight bulb. So, so that, you know, um, looks a lot like the one in the middle there. So, anyway. So, uh, I dug up all the bulbs. They were kind of scattered around. And right before I made the video, I found two more in the back. I found one downstairs in my basement on the couch. And I just tested them all on this ballast. And this is what I got. I got... One, two, three, four, five, six of the T8 daylights. So I got an even number of those in daylights. Uh, GE one, I got a set of these. General Electric daylights, 40 watts, T12s. I got one there, and the one on the far right, T12, the matching one to that other one, that GE, okay? And then if I count these other two in the middle here as daylights, which I am because they look exactly like this one over here pretty much, <coughs> um, that's four of T12 daylights. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten total daylight bulbs. Okay, 6,500K bulbs. Four, uh, so that's ten. And I have one, two, three, four, five ballast. So that works out really good. So I'm going to load them all up with T12s. Actually, I'll have one left over because this ballast is broke. Um, I don't know what the hell. If you guys know anything about these, please let me know. But I have no idea how these things work. I just seen a... Uh, who was it? Who, who, who? Who was that? Cecil? He, had, he just did a light video. And I did a light video a little while back, and he just did one um, where he's putting a tinfoil inside these. Um, the, the duct tape, actually. And uh, uh, the duct work tape, anyway. And uh, hey, I used to do duct work too, buddy. I did it for about a year. But yeah, I got to know that tape. Got, got cut up quite a few times. Um, but these cheaper ones, I mean, that's the only thing I see in here. And that can't be a ballast. That must be some kind of a whatever. I don't know. Just a thing, a splitter thing or something. But I'm guessing the ballasts are in the ends or something. I don't know if I blew something or if they're just, they're just junk after that or what. But. Yeah, only one bulb works in it right now. <coughs> so, mount, got one up front. This is the basically the plans for the booth lighting, um, minus the side lights. Um, as the ceiling goes here, I had one here on the side of the truck, and I was going to put another one here on the other side of, well, the, the main parking spot anyway. Um, so I'm going to pull those hooks, and I think I'm going to scoot this light that was right here up to here. Okay? So I have one light here, and then I'll put another light down here at the end of the garage, down here. So I'll have two lights on, on this side. Over there is gonna be the same thing. I'll put one light back here. I'll put the other light right here, okay? And I'm gonna have all the cords on the insides, 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 so that they can all four come right up to this light. And at that light, um, because I don't, you know, I have a plug-in right there, but that's the compressor circuit that I wanna leave just everything, nothing, I don't want to put anything on that, more on that circuit. <clears throat> or I'm going to have flashing lights and stuff. I want to put it on this light circuit so that when I turn the lights on, it comes on. So I'm just going to take one of these uh, power adapter here, you know, off the back of my bench and uh, plug that into the light and mount that power strip right there on the ceiling and plug all four lights into there. And my plan was um, the two... Um, you know, these three all have um, switches on them so you can turn them off. Um, so I got three lights that you can turn off. So I was thinking the one in the back here, this one here, that one here, to maybe have those so that you can just shut them off, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I was maybe going to use the, the T12s back there, put the two sets of T12s back there with switches so I could shut them off because I don't need them on, on all the time. I only need them on when I'm painting, so um, it's kind of a waste of energy. So I'm thinking green here. Uh, I'm never gonna say that again. I can't stand the words um, thinking green and blah, blah, blah. I just can't stand all that crap. I just get really annoyed by it all. That's all you hear on TV and everything now is be green and blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, 
Okay, I'm not even going to go into that right That's a different video. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm not going to waste energy and cause my bill to be high for no reason, right? Um, but, yeah, I'm not Tommy Shu, but I got some lights now, so that's kind of cool. And, you know, I'm not too turbo cold, you know, I don't have, you know, 25 of them either. Which would be sweet. But I got what I got right now, so I'm going to try, I'm going to use them. So I got a pile of these hooks that I never found a use for. I just bought a bunch of them because they were like 25 cents a piece on sale at Menards one day. Menards is like uh, Home Depot. If you guys don't have a Menards or know what that is, it's like a cheaper version of Home Depot. <laughs> they get a lot of factory seconds and stuff, but pretty similar place. Um, so I have enough to do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I have two hooks up there, so four, yeah. So I have enough to do the ceiling. So that's about as uh, intense of a video as I'm gonna make right now about the lightning situation. I will come back in about mm, 45 minutes here, because I'm gonna go inside and get a big old glass of iced tea. It's about, mm, I'm guessing about midnight or so. And I'm just going to take an hour here since I'm going to be sitting up watching videos anyway. I didn't see a whole lot of videos and I watched a few that I wanted to watch earlier anyway. So, um, so uh, let me get this up and done. So that would be cool. Yeah. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> and a one. And a two. And a three. One, two, three, four. Four lights for the garage. Ah, 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 ah. Four. Ah, 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 ah. I'm done. Done now. Five. Five lights for the garage. Ah, ah, ah. So, yeah. power setup for these guys get that uh, mounted right about there they all reach to the middle which is sweet nice little plan I had there so let's do it gotta get that thing on the ceiling oh yeah so yeah here's my garage with one four foot t8 daylight bulb 6500 6500 K or 6400k I don't know which one Okay, and that's how much it lights up. Okay, here's eight more. Oh yeah. You're styling, baby. That poor little garage door light. Play around with that, see if I can find an incandescent light bulb. A really, like a 100 watt incandescent light bulb or something that I can put in there. And it takes a light bulb on both sides. That bulb must be out. But then that one would be kind of cool too. Yeah. Nice lighting. You know what else good lighting is good for? Good movie making. This makes for great movie making. So I am going to get myself a camera after I sell this truck. Okay. And uh, we're going to make some awesome videos. Okay. Look at that. I sweated today for the first time since I like, uh, I like, uh, I like, uh, probably when I was saying in body filler there, what, towards the end, when it was getting kind of warm out, I probably sweated then, but I was sweating a lot after, uh, wet sanding the truck. That sucks. Definitely could see hiring someone to do that. You have to teach them how first, but still. Definitely could see, um, teach them like a neighbor kid or something how to how to do that and help them to do that that'd be a good good summer job for some kid out there so yeah um we got our lights up the only thing that's you know that sucks about making movies is when i get to here i have this light here that i don't need um that's not on the switch so this one hardly ever needs to even be plugged in except for when Okay, let's see how much light I lose over this whole deal. It lights the ceiling more than anything. Yeah, we lose a little bit. 
but mainly what it's for, you know. And I gotta remount it, like I said, but it's for the front of the car, you know. So I'm gonna slap it up under here and mount it up here on the flaps, right on here. Put it right under here, kind of at a 45 degree angle. Because any car that I park in here is gonna come up to here, you know, at least. Like my truck, I had, you know, come up to here, I had about three feet in front of it. So yeah, we got light. I got a smile on my face, because I can see. So, y'all have a goody goody. Peace out, people. And uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that every time. Just so you guys know, I'm not gonna steal everybody's ending. So. Um, so yeah. Um, don't let your meat loaf, and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> um, I will. I'll come up with something. I like the awkward, don't know how to end the video um, ending, so I'm going to end the video.